Hey, is this thing on? Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. So, um, I have another question. And the question is, do you like having internet friends? And do you enjoy making internet friends? I really, really do. Like, I love all the people that I talk to every day on Kick, on, um, on Instagram, on, uh, what's that, Twitter. Like, I love it. Like, I love it. I love talking to you people. You guys are amazing. You guys are cre creepy as hell and also funny as hell. And I love it. Um, next question. Do I have any kids? No. <laughs> I love kids and um, I don't have any kids yet. And I am waiting patiently for that day when I can be someone's mom. I I feel like that's my purpose here on this earth, um, to inspire and to create. I think that's my only purpose here on this earth. So I cannot wait till I finally get that that uh, that moment when I found out like, oh snap! I'm gonna be somebody, mama. I'm gonna be so happy. But right now, no. I just have my God babies. I have Gabby and Fatty, which you guys are pretty much familiar with because they're always either on IG or I'm talking about them in a video. I got some picture of them somewhere. So those are my babies. Those are my kids. <laughs> um, do you make some of your clothes or do you put your own style into your clothes? Um, some of my things I do make, but for the most part, um, I just like to mix and match things that I get. I never buy a full outfit. I always just buy something from here, something from there, something from there. And then I'll mix and match something that I already have. Something that I stole from one of my friends. Or something that, um, you know, I just got. So I always mix and match my stuff. Um, next question. How do you stay so positive? Um, I am a person who really don't care about a lot of things. And a lot of my family and my friends always, that's their main problem is that I don't care. My big thing is that I don't care, but I don't care. So I feel like that's how I stay positive because I don't really care enough to put in a lot of energy for something unless I say I care about it. So like, um, you know, bullying and drama, if I really don't care for it, then I don't. Only time I might have a problem with it was somebody that I that I used to rock with or I um, I felt love for or I felt some kind of feelings for and then they come with me with some stuff and I'm like, hold up. So I mean, that's it. But for the most part, I'll stay positive. I just know that, first of all, life is too short. Second of all, ain't nobody got time for that. You know, it's just like, I'm young. All I want to do is have fun and just worry about the people that I love and myself. So if you don't want to be a part of that circle, then don't worry about it. Go ahead, do what you got to do. I'm going to do what I got to do. And that's how I stay positive. I just live a I don't care life unless I tell you I do. So that's just how I stay positive. Um, Next question. What kind of hair do you buy and do you like to do arts and crafts stuff? Um, I always get me some um, human hair. Like this right now that I have is human hair. And if I'm getting like a wig or something like that, I like to like, I don't know why I like to get costume wigs when I don't even be going on one. Like I wear it on a regular basis. But um, I get costume wigs um, or sy synthetic human blend wigs or sometimes synthetic wigs. I like to get the synthetic wigs because I can cut it and mess it up and just do a whole bunch of cre creative things to it. And when I want to do something really creative and just um, something different all the time, then I'll get my human hair, which I can bleach. I can do all that stuff. I can do 25 different colors and at once. So, um, yeah. Um, this hair that I got in right now is from the Hair Teeny. The Hair, yeah, the Hair Teeny. And um, that's their IG, also their website. So you can go ahead and check it out. And I had this hair since... Um, since August, yeah, since August, and it's still pretty good. I actually cut it recently, but um, 
Yeah, and arts and crafts, yes. I love the arts and crafts. That's who I am, okay? That's what I do. Um, what made you start making YouTube videos? And how do you get so many IG followers? LOL. Um, uh, ooh. Okay, so when I first started doing my um, YouTube video, I had a whole different channel and I was just doing stupid reckless videos, right? Just with my friends and my family because we were retarded. So I was just like, what? Why not? Um, then uh, when I first um, discovered MB and I wanted to... Oh, my brothers are out there playing the game, so they're so loud. But um, when I first discovered MB, I went on YouTube and I watched a whole bunch of, you know, videos, which led me to fan videos. And I was listening to people experience videos and how much they love them and different things like that. And then when I first met MB, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to go ahead and do an experience video, you know. So I did it. And then a lot of people um, gave me a lot of positive feedback on it. And they wanted to ask me so many questions and things like that. So, um, I was just like, heck no, mm-mm, ain't got time for that. And then I would, people would follow me on IG and harass me with questions, and I'm like, oh my god. And I remember one day I got on my YouTube channel, and I had like 60 inboxes just about MB and a whole bunch of questions, and I was just like, okay, you win. So then that's how I started doing my channel dedicated to MB, which is this channel right now, which is no longer dedicated to MB. I'm going in a new twist and turn direction. But um, yeah, so that's basically how that started. And I got sucked into it for like two years, actually. And I mean, I loved it. And I still do love it. I love it. And that's basically how I, um, I got started with that. And how I got so many IG followers, I don't know. I don't know. They just come. They just come. They just come. I don't know who they are. They just come, they follow me, they like my pictures, and that's just that. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, next question is, do you have any tips on natural hair and or eating healthy tips? Um, natural hair tips, I actually, I actually have natural hair under this um wig but all i do is just do treatments for my hair like the um the mayonnaise and like the avocado and i do a lot of like the twist out and stuff like that but you know who i watch on youtube that i think is just freaking amazing um i think hold on i'm gonna actually look right now i believe it's like nappy 80 something i don't know and there's another channel that i watch and i like love her too she's so freaking cute she had this cutest little daughter and i was just like give me um yolanda renee is who i watch too she had the cutest daughter and her videos are so cute i love her voice she's just like so proper and so cute and um natural 85 so those are the ones that i watch um all the time especially her because she breaks it down for you like break it down when she do not play and she do a lot of treatments for your hair and how you get your hair you know healthy her hair is like huge and long now and i'm just like you bitch but yeah so i really do love them too um I realized that i didn't answer the second part to that question um when it comes to healthy eating i would say eat in portions like really small portions and don't um Eat, 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 like small portions, like small portions. When did I find out who I really was? Um, I knew who I was before high school, actually, when I was in middle school. Like, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew who I was. I knew that I, I didn't care about a lot of things. I knew that I love a handful of things. I knew that I wanted to inspire people at a young age. I knew that, um... I wanted to um, be different. I knew that I wanted to um, accomplish a lot of things and I knew that I wanted to create and I knew that I wanted to just be the best person that I possibly can be. Like I always knew that, even in high school. I remember, I mean, even in middle school, I remember when we was in, um, it was in eighth grade, we had to do papers on about, um, you know, life and what we wanted to do and blah, 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 blah. And I did this paper just saying that, that I wanted to inspire, that I wanted to inspire people my age, people beyond my age, people younger, 
than me. I just wanted to inspire people. And I did that and I'm still doing that. And I, I mean, I knew that when I was in eighth grade, you know, and I just always knew who I was. And people like people older me were like, come and talk to me. It was like, I didn't know who I wanted to be since I was in college. Like, how do you know that? And I'm like, I know who I want to be. I know who I am. I know. Like, you know, but a lot of people always say that they find out who they are in college. Like for sure, for sure. Like in high school, they get a feel of, okay, this may be me. But when they get in college, they know for sure, for sure. Like, okay, this is me. This is who I am. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm blessed on that end. But thank you guys so much for the questions. And I, like I said, it might be a part three. And it looks like it is going to be a part three. So, um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. want you to shout at the top of your lungs about... All our favorite songs so loud We'll be singing along Even if they hate that Turn up the radio